Hi everyone, it's Nicole and Dimitro from Bachata Dance Academy. We're just making this video before the actual count, uh, combination starts. We just wanted to thank you guys for following us and subscribing to our channel. We just hit 10,000 subscribers. Yes, and we also uh, uploaded a few more videos from our full uh, Bachata online course. So we just want to remind you guys, we have uh, over 250 videos uh, that you have you can get access to so we don't just have the ones on YouTube So feel free to go to our website and check out what we have to offer And we hope you like the combination that follows this short little thank you video Yeah to get those videos you can enroll in our course Bachata Dance Academy online.com for all of those videos Yeah, we just put a little bit of videos here so we don't take away from our course But there's a bunch of videos in our online course if you guys want more tutorials like over 250 and we're going to keep adding more. Again, that's at bachatadanceacademy.com. We hope you guys enjoy this combination. And we'll see you in the inside. Again, thank you guys for subscribing to our channel. Tell me that it's cool. That I'm stuck on you. Guys, from the basic step, we go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. From here, we're gonna get out of our way. We're gonna do a hammer lock. One, two, three, four. From here, my right hand is gonna come up, left hand is gonna stay down for the hammer lock. Ladies, you're gonna be going uh, forward on your left foot, turning towards your left. Guys, forward, right, turning right. I'm gonna go five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, just the motion first tries is with us. We're gonna turn her. One goes over the head. Yeah, make sure both arms are straight, facing her in front before these two hands come up to give her that extra rotation. Just make sure you're trying it along with us, okay? Because it can get kind of disorienting when you do it fast. Yeah, so remember our rule for the turns. Um, the first turn happens here, second turn happens here. At 11 o'clock, this is where it starts and finishes. Yeah, so when I turn her regular, it's going one, two, and three, four, yeah? So watch my right hand. As I do this, I still do it. I go one, two, three, four. The only thing that's happening on the left side, I'm here, one, and then it's up by two. Yeah, from this angle, just so you guys can see my left hand, um, I'm going one, two, three, four. Yeah, so this one's doing the same thing as a normal turn. This one's down one up to as soon as she completes the turn and her arms are straight. You don't want to do it while she's bent. Yeah, and ladies, relax your arms because if you try to control it and stop him from doing the mo motion, then it might not feel so good or you just won't be able to do the turn. So don't try to control the arm. Let him control it, okay? Here we go. Let's go from the top again, tapping left. Um, we'll go straight out of her way. From this angle, we go one, two, three. Bring her through five, six, seven, Eight. Um, from here, we'll also go over the steps of the girls just in case. We're going one, two, three, four. I want to get out of her way. And he kind of pushes back just a little bit. Not too much, but just to create space. We're not like, ooh, but there is a little bit of space created. Yeah, before we go over the girls' steps, just is continue. It's not too crazy. I'm going to bring her through. Ladies forward, left, turning left. Guys forward, right, turning right. Um, as I do this, guys, I'm going to connect to her back when I can with my right hand, the bottom hand, for five, six, seven, eight. I'm going to be kind of close for this next position. I'm off-centered. Yeah, so it's her shoulder, my shoulder, her shoulder, my shoulder, um, so we can do this next back break. But the steps uh, for the ladies for the turns. Yeah, so ladies, I'll go over it really quickly, but keep in mind that we do have a turn turns class for double turns so if you need more help and this is not enough then refer to the, the double turns video so you can get more in-depth okay so our timing again for our double turns one and two and three four so if you'll notice it's quick 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 and then there's a little pause between the last one okay so if we transfer that timing though one and two and three four we transfer that to the feet tapping with our right we go Step, 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 step. And then the last one is our tap. 
okay? And I'll usually take a slightly bigger step on my last one to kind of give me stability. So I go one and two and three, tap four, okay? He's gonna give me a slight pushback, or he should if he wants to create space. So it'll be a little bit different. It'll go one and two, and you should feel that push, three, four, so you stabilize, okay? Um, and then just remember your posture. You wanna keep your head above the balls of your feet. If you start leaning back, you'll turn back. If you start leaning forward, you're gonna crash into him. Keeping your uh, arm as much like this as possible. It might flare up a little naturally, but we don't wanna let it flare. And we wanna keep our ribs closed, okay? So kind of keeping this nice little position as much as possible. Let's go ahead and try. Here we go, but let's go from the hammerlock turn so the ladies can practice that. Um, let's actually go from this angle. So tapping left, ladies right, straight into the turn. Five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four. Yeah, from here I'm gonna pull her through. Remember, I connect to her back when I can with my right. Five, six, seven, eight. From here, guys, uh, I'm gonna do this motion here where I bring my hand over the arm so I can do this scoop. And when I do this scoop, I'm gonna stay connected uh, at the elbow area so I can keep her arm straight. Um, I'm gonna get out of her way. I'm not gonna do the steps or anything, but the motion, I'm gonna bring this arm towards me. This arm stays connected to her body. I bring it up. He changes the hand position. Yeah. I'm gonna bring this hand to this uh, shoulder so I can my, push down. The lady's right. So she can go under to do this loop. Half a dip, if you may. Mm -hmm. And I put my arm Yeah, up. and I'm gonna keep my elbow up with my fingers. I'm doing this motion so she can come back from this angle and go under my arm. And I really gotta support here and here when she comes back cause, so it's not flimsy. So we can go back to our one, two, three. Four. Yeah, let's go a little bit from this part again. So he pushes down, yes, and he's still connected at my back on the other side, so let's do it from this angle. Make sure you're doing this with us. So he scoops down here, and he's still connected on my back. Now he lifts the arm up, okay, and he look, watch him change his hand. He brings the fingertips in and changes the direction, yes. Now he can control from the elbow here, and now once I clear, he, he clears my head, he brings it around his uh, body here, and he leaves this tunnel, yes, for the girl to go under. If you, you have to be careful here that you don't make the girl hit your chest. So you need to create this like down scoop with your position without- Gentlemen, don't do chest at the gym before yeah, this move. Yeah, don't just go like this because she'll smack into you. So you have to kind of create this it's a little hard to show on camera. Yeah, so as we turn. Right here, it's like I'm creating the space right here. If I'm close, she's gonna whack into me either even before this. Yeah. Yeah, so I create space right here. And then watch, he pushes this part down and then leaves this. So he's scooping through and not just towards him. He locks this arm by holding my elbow and pinning my arm down. So this arm is how I'm getting my stability. Okay. A lot of stuff happening. Let's get, let's get in their face. Yeah. Yeah. So again, we're here. Boom. I switch this rotation okay. here. Watch my fingers. They're pointing this way He's now. He's still connected here. Grazing. Puts it behind his back. He has full control because he's holding my elbow here. Now he's pushing me this way and through. Okay. So ladies will tilt your head to your right. Oops. And come through. So once I come through, I'm going to extend a little bit further. And... For the ladies, I'm holding onto his back and he's holding my arm. The guys, you have to understand that she's holding on by like a thread. So you really got to support that right arm and you got to be there for her when she needs it. Okay, let's try it again. Let's, uh, hmm. I want to give you the best angles possible because I know there's a let's lot of Let's go a couple angles. Out. Boom, I do this, slide down. We connect to the shoulder before we go up. Boom, and we're here. Guys, make sure, again, I'm pushing up here, and I have her support here. And then with the fingers, I do this motion so I can bring her back to my right. And I connect again as I bring her up to go back into the one. Yeah, let me explain the ladies' stuff. 
So as we step back, um, one, we step one, and then in place. And this is when he's going to start initiating the turn. So let me, so watch, step back, in place. Then I'll go right, left, right. That's my last step is my right foot. My left one is now going to come out to a point here. Okay, so if I'm pointing, coming to you, my right leg has all my weight. My left foot is out at a point, rotated out. So I don't want my heel down or else when I slide down, my heel will go up and graze the floor. I need to turn it out so I never heal my, hear my heel scratch, yes? Here, okay, and then I am did my head roll to my right. Right, extend. Okay, suck in your stomach. Then he's gonna tilt your head the other way. As you come through with this head roll, switch into your left leg and come up, okay? So just the steps, we won't do the head roll. It goes right, left, right, left, right, extend it out. We do that head roll. The other head roll makes us shift into our left leg and switch. The right leg is now free, so you can basic, okay? It starts by doing a right head roll, left head roll, okay? So your right head roll goes like this. Right, dip your shoulders through. Then you need to keep going and open the body up here, okay? So right, keep going, open, left, come to center, up, okay? So this one floats past center, keeps going, center, up. Now let's try it now with the, Damn. the guys. This hair is out of control. <laughs> let's, uh, let's try it from the top just so we don't forget everything. And then we'll break that. Or when we do that part, it'll be a lot slower. So let's do it with the counts. Five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Out of her way, bring her through. Five, six, seven, eight. We turn two. Three, four, five, six, seven. We freeze, we go slow. Super close. One, two. Oh, sorry, for the guys, I didn't even say my step. I'm going <laughs> one. On the two is kind of in place, but I'm starting to get out of her way on that two. So I can open this door by three. Yeah, so by three, she has this straight lane. So I'm going one, two, three. And then from here, um, I'm kind of just gonna point on this foot as we do this. When we're here, I'm pointing, and then I bring her back. I shift my weight onto my right so we can continue on to that basic. Let's proceed with the counts. So we were here, slowly, one, two, three, four, five, she goes under, six, she's down. I bring her back, seven, through eight, so we can go basic, one, two, three, Four. Let's do it on this side. And, and then I'll go over a little bit more for the lady's arms. So I'm only teaching, everything's kind of just coming apart right now because of this move. Um, I'll teach the arms kind of uh, in layers because if I tell you too much at once, it's hard to digest. Yes. So I'll, t I'll tell you more after this. Here we go. Continuing. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Turn. One, two, three, four. Five, six, this part, slowly. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, basic, two, three, four. Bonus count for that last part, just in case, from this angle. Slowly. From the break back. We go one, two, three. Three, sorry, I'm trying to give you the best angle, but I don't want to get in your way. Yeah, let's do it from here again. So, boom, I give her that turn. Through and down. Boom, through and up. Basic, one, two, three. Okay, so I'll give you a little bit more styling tips, and then um, we'll do it a few times, and then I'll give you some tips just in general with this kind of really difficult pattern. 
Oh, it's not a pa it's just that last kind of count of eight or two. That's the tricky part. The rest is not that bad. Okay, so let's go from this break back and I'll just uh, break it down as we do it. When we step back for one, I'm also straightening this left arm. So as my right arm comes out, my left arm does too, okay? And I'm switching places. So they're kind of like little, this one's now I pin kind of down. So one's up, one's down. Then as I continue to turn, I'm gonna bend this and make contact with the guy's abdomen here so I can help myself through, okay? If you feel unstable in this with your partner, like you just haven't quite gotten it or your connection's just a little off, um, you can maintain connection here. That way you're not just like hanging out there. Yeah, so you can stay connected or you can extend it out. And then if I'm gonna extend it, I'm gonna twist my wrist and come in with my hand and finish the move. And if you feel like you're falling forward on this, you just kind of utilize him to help yourself, okay? Um, anything for the guys? Uh, no, you can give the other one for the girls. Yes, yeah, so I just have some social dancing tips for this move. It's really quite a tricky move. So to practice it with the partner that you're doing this course with a bunch of times and ask for a lot of feedback. Sometimes it can be a little uncomfortable to get feedback from a move, kind of hearing that you're doing it wrong, you're doing it wrong, but take the, take the feedback in um, and know that every partner is gonna be a little different too. So even if you do it perfectly with the partner that you're doing this with, not every follow is gonna know the move or be able to follow as well, or maybe she follows really good and it's not gonna be a problem. But just know that this move, when you first try it on the dance floor, to go A, do it only to a slow song, and don't be so strict about the counts. If, if everything takes you longer than it should, let it without trying to force the lady to do something faster than she knows what to do. And I'll tell you why. So when we're doing this break back, this is pretty common. This common is, this turn is not as common, okay? Especially this connection here, he, this one, she may not know where to go. So go slow, even if you think you're gonna be late and let her you know, go through and then she doesn't know where she is and she stays here, let her stay here. And then you can help her through slowly the other direction. And let's say you don't end on eight and instead you end on four. You can just go five, six, seven to correct it. So that gives you another four counts to kind of like ease her through the move versus trying to be on time and, and being rough about it. So always remember that it, the move is not as important as taking care of your partner. And from the outside, the move should look nice, even if it's really slow, but it should be executed properly. So hope this helps and practice a lot. Okay. Just kidding, I have one for the guys. Um, I'm gonna stress this a lot in all of the videos. Um, so you're, hear, you're gonna hear me saying this a lot. Moves like this, when it's more intermediate, kind of even almost leaning towards advanced, you wanna practice basic moves before you actually do something like that, like right off the bat, mm -hmm. yeah? A lot of moves are in this, yeah? So the first thing I'm gonna see, let me see how she reacts to back breaks, and I'll do this move, and I'll get out of it, and I do something else. I'm like, okay, I can do that first part of this. Let me see if she's, like, she's used to neck rolls and things like that, since it's kinda in the end, yeah? But I'm like, it's a different kind of neck roll, so let me do a different style. Let me see if she can do something like this, where I actually use her body more to do that neck roll and go back into a basic. And then from there, I'm like, okay, she was able to do all of that, so now I can do my back break, I can get out of her way, I can do this lead with a turn, I can bring her down, so on and so forth. Yeah, if you wanna be extra sure, like I can see, let me see if she's even able to do a regular dip, and I can do this motion, boom, before I do this move. Yeah, so you always want to test the waters before you go straight into like all the crazy stuff to see what she's able to do. One, so she looks good. Main rule, you want to make the girls look good and not put them into stuff that's going to make them look awkward from the outside. Second thing, which should be the first, <laughs> is safety. Yeah, just so you don't injure your partner and you're always making sure you take care of them with whatever they're able to do. Yeah, so practice a couple of moves before that that are kind of based on the move that you want to try later. So it's nice, comfortable, and relaxing. She's already kind of used to your style before you go into that exact move. Five, six, five, six, basic first. And we go. We 
turn Basic. Let's go on the other side. Bringing her through. Here we go. Hammer lock. And we turn. Please, please. 